You little bookies. I do. Oh. Or maybe it was when you watched The Sound of Music. Is that a Christmas movie? No. No, I don't know why people say it's a Christmas movie. Hmm. Okay, I don't really Hello, like everyone. this apron very well. You should have hmm. Should we ask for a vote on the apron? Okay, guys, vote on the apron. Wait, 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 hi, Sylvia. Hi, Cassidy. Denise. Laura. Us. Penny. Guys, Penny like made it today. Do you like the apron or no apron? I don't like the apron. It's not me. You're getting hearts. They like the apron. I don't like the apron. Hello, everyone. Maybe I shouldn't use it and take it Erica back. loves peanut brittle. Wow, um, Turid, good to see you again. Hello. Like, so. <laughs> you guys like these? I think it looks super good. Oh dear, we're having. We're having time. What else is a surprise for us? I got a gifty in the. We're frozen on Facebook or on YouTube. Da -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, sorry guys. We're checking our internet. So, today. So, you guys like the apron, huh? I don't know. It's not really me. I'm being mini pearl today. Okay, so you guys can see me on Facebook. Let's see. Can you guys see me on YouTube? I'm so sorry um, for the delay. Please forgive me. Let me check. Freezing up on YouTube. Uh, hello in Northern Ireland, Jeanette. Wow. Yeah, it says it's running fine, but I need to restart YouTube, I think. Okay. Oh, Donna, the butter walnuts are mom's favorite cookie. I, think why you think they I don't because this was like them very well, but she loves yeah. them. I don't know why this All right, I shouldn't about. say that well, about a recipe in the book, the but... Well... Okay, we're waiting on Mike. Well, we're waiting on... Sorry. Where did you go? Okay, no eating during the show. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, everyone. We're having worker, we're having employee issues. <laughs> <laughs> Call HR. <laughs> okay, so you need a jelly roll pan like this one. So get our link for jelly roll pan. Did you put our sale up there? Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, put the sale up there. I'm totally not ready for that. Hold on, I have to find it. Why don't it. you just go to text and open. No, open it. I changed it. Reason. Jelly roll pan, right? I think it's the sale. Sorry. Okay, jelly roll pan is a pan that has little lip like this. Okay, I use a sill pat for this. You could use parchment paper, but you can just so get that done first, and you need to have that done first because once this hit, where did my thermometer grow? 
Yay. Oh, Dave. Okay, it appears that we're sorted. Huh. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to take a saucepan. And we're making grandma's peanut brittle. For anybody who's wondering, can you scoot over just a little bit? Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I need my space. You're in my bubble. Penny says the fast stuff is hilarious. My bubble has been invaded. The what? The fast stuff is hilarious? The fast stuff. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, I have short-term memory loss like Dory. Um, <laughs> what was your name again? Peanut brittle, you will never eat it. Really super good. And here. I sprung my finger and I can't open anything. Okay, if I get it. Aaron, I got it. Having sketchy internet or what? But it just dropped again for half a second. Okay, guys, we're having sketchy internet problems. So if um, we go away again like we did Monday, which by the way, later in the evening we lost power for about 15 minutes. It was nice for 15 minutes. So tonight we're with the Homestead Network, the Homestead Network. Dot com. Go check it out. There's a whole bunch of us on there, YouTubers, who do homesteading or homesteading type stuff. All right. So. <laughs> There's my corn syrup. Uh, now, even he says, oh, it's Grandma Jill or Jill's mom. It's Jill's mom, right? It's my mother, Your Grandma grand Tatum, who I tried to convince to come on the show Jill's and make mom. it. It's not your mother, it's your grandmother. But she didn't want to. Yes, my grandmother. I said mom's mom. You said it's my mother. <laughs> my mother's mom. Okay, so you're putting your corn syrup and your sugar. Boop. And your water all in the pan. Denise says snow is so beautiful. Oh, that likes your hair. Thank you. Oh, I just realized something. And uh, you're going to stir and get your sugar dissolved. Now, when cooking candies, one of the problems people have is with stuff separating. And I've that it like separates. That's because the sugar crystallized because you didn't dissolve it first in the pan, okay? So, get it all stirred. I'm going to turn my stove on to warm up while I'm getting that. Everyone's wondering, where's Jack and where's the taste tester? <laughs> Here. Jack is in the other room. <laughs> With kids. Because this gets up to 290 degrees and it will burn, literally burn the hide off of you. I mean, it's, if you're careful, it's fine, but just stay being careful. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to a boil. Now, I'm going to use my regular stove instead of that one because I know the heat better on this and it regulates better. Stephanie's asking you to repeat what we're making today. Stephanie, I'm making... Grandma's homemade peanut brittle. This is the best peanut brittle. And it is super delicious. So I don't need an entire batch of peanut brittle by myself. You do need two jelly roll pans. Now, it is also best to do this um, 
like when it's super cold outside so like it's like eight degrees or something outside right now so um you can just set it outside and let it get hard really fast and it'll crack yes dave question melody says made your sugars today oh my Huh? The sugar cookies. No, they said sugar sugar cookies oh, today. you made the oh, sugar cookies, aren't you? I'm telling you, Melody, those are the best sugar cookies ever. Mom's sugar cookie recipe is the best. I think that was my great grandma's. Mom's grandma's recipe. Yeah. So, um, Sherry, anyway. Sherry's asking when your mom's going to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so... Mom is going to be on the show next week. Okay. No. On the 19th. Everybody ready? Are you ready? You're going to be outshined. Oh, that's okay. Maybe we should go on vacation. Mom could just run it by herself. I must diminish and go into the West yes. and remain Galadriel. <laughs> Sorry. What? Why? <laughs> See I just, what I have to do. I just live randomly with? put in weird movie quotes. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Uh, First. Corn syrup. The the recipe is in there, and then it's also on page 266, right here in Dining on a Dime. Boop! Dining on a Dime, right there. Okay, so. Let me get this going. Any other questions, Dave? Oh. Um, no, not ones that I've already answered. Oh. So you can stir this to make sure the sugar is all dissolved until it comes to a boil. But after it comes to a boil, um, then you don't want to stir it. You just want to leave it alone. So mine's coming to a boil. All right, there we go. Now, now I have, just one sec, I have this digital thermometer, laser thermometer, put the link up for it. This is an affiliate link if you guys want to get it. We do get... A small commission from Amazon. If you guys are ordering from Amazon, please just click on save any of these links we give you guys and then order all your stuff on Amazon and we'll get like 20 cents for each thing you order. But hey, every 20 cents adds up. <laughs> so thank you for your support at no extra charge to you. Did I get it all in? I think so. Okay. <laughs> so laser this, thermometer. I, will put it in I got this laser thermometer because for my soap. But this thing has been totally, I mean, it's just been used to death. I use it for everything. And so this I'm, is what I'm using. David just used it to measure the snow just now. To see what, how, how. Yes. Yeah, so we want to get up to 260 and we are at 220 right now. So, yes, Dave. Um, so with this, Diane, Diana Cole says, um, well, she just tuned in a couple of minutes ago. She said, did she forget to burn, um, did she forget burn or drop something? Not today. Oh, well, no, but I cut myself. You guys want to see what I did? Okay. I still have not figured out what this is. But do you see this little thing right here? You see this? Okay, so I poured my oatmeal in my clean bowl yesterday and I was eating away and I chomped down and I felt this like bone in my mouth. I thought, what in the world? It was my finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. So I pulled this thing out and this was in my oatmeal packet. I did, I bought instant oatmeal. I know, shame on me, but I'm having a rough one this month, this year, <laughs> this millennium <laughs> <laughs> so i broke down and bought instant oatmeal and this was in it so then i just laid it on the counter trying to decide if i should complain to the company or not because we get some weirdo things sometimes i'm like they're not going to even believe me <laughs> so this was on the sink and i go to pick it up i slice my finger so bad i couldn't hardly get it to stop 
bleeding. It took like 25 minutes to stop bleeding. I thought BJ was going to take me to the emergency room before the show to get stitches. Oh, I did that at school. Sorry. Seriously? I'm just thinking you and blades and sharp the things. The only thing that saved me was that I was a really, really super clean cut. And so I just held it together a lot. And this Band-Aid is on super tight. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering if I'm going to lose circulation. But can you believe that? That was in my oatmeal. Everything, everybody's saying you should complain, contact them. Well, yeah. that's what I was thinking. But man, we get... Was it in one of the packs or in that big thing of instant No, it was in the packet. It was... So it was this... Right here. All right, Quaker. You almost lopped my finger off. <laughs> right there. Oh. Uh, we're getting, uh, Shirley's asking what we're making again. I am making Grandma's peanut brittle, the best peanut brittle you will ever eat in your entire life. Okay, so it takes a little while for this to cook. So I will answer questions while we are Everyone's waiting. Like, what brand was it? And I'm like, it was Quaker. Oh, and I forgot. Grandma uses raw peanuts. I don't use raw peanuts. I use regular salted peanuts. So you can use whichever you want. Yes, Dave. <coughs> Bless you. Pete Sebo says to, you can glue your finger with super glue. That, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a good idea, except my kids used up my super glue, but that's a good idea. Because super glue, it cools down super well. I yeah, it does. Super glue, mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. You're all, I'm always gluing my, super, my finger together. Might as well do it for a good cause this time. I lost who asked for it, but somebody asked for the... Oh, Sharon asked to put up the sugar cookie recipe. So, Sharon, I am adding it right now. Uh, so, guys, what should we do for Monday show, honey? Monday yeah. show? Yes. <laughs> you should sing a song. <gasps> What song should we sing on Monday? We should sing... Happy birthday to you, you live in a Frosty. zoo. <laughs> yeah. Let it go. Oh. Monday is Mike's birthday. What? How did I not know that? You're going to be 27 <laughs> again. 27 again, huh? For wow. the fourth time. That look pretty good for 27. You look great for 27. She says, I could eat the whole tube of those peanuts. Yes, I could too. This is like one of my favorite candies is peanut brittle. Peanut brittle and toffee are my two top favorite candies, I think. Let me see. Sugared nuts are really good too. And I like turtles. But for me, peanut brittle and toffee are my two top ones. Mike is fudge. I like caramel too. You know, she makes haystacks, which are yeah. basically coconut mm -hmm. inside of chocolate and... That was from the candy store. Yeah. Everyone's saying and those happy are really yummy. birthday. Thank you. Patricia's asking how many nights a week are we on? We're on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. And then occasionally I'll pop in on Tuesday and Thursdays if I have a chance. But tomorrow I'm doing a live show for Self-Reliant Living at 11 mountain time so if you go to self-reliant living on facebook and like her page i'm gonna be on she's gonna be interviewing me tomorrow at 11 mountain time so it's gonna be tara unplugged <laughs> yeah i'm not sure i want to answer some of these questions they're a little controversial <laughs> <laughs> leanne's asking if you use salted peanuts do you eliminate the salt um you can yes although i like stuff salty so I add the extra salt, but that's up to you. So yes, you may leave the, the salt out if you want. Okay, we're at 242 right now. Yes, Dave. Okay, so um, Evan Lee said, I mean, no, 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 no. Um, Esther says, missing your mom's stories even though you guys are a riot. And Le Leanne, sorry, I, mm -hmm. I only read the first name. Um, Leanne says, so if you use salted peanuts, do you eliminate the salt? Yeah, you can leave the salt out if you use salted peanuts. I like things salty, so, um, I leave the extra salt in, but you can leave it out, certainly. There's really not that much salt in salted peanuts, but... Someone was asking if, is it possible that that piece of plastic could be part of the dish you were eating it out of? Uh, that's what I thought. So I went back through because we have these white corral dishes and I looked and there are no chips in any of them. Hmm. 
Because they said it looked like a piece of Corel. That's what I thought. <laughs> that was the very first thing I thought. Well, unless, let me look in the dishwasher and see. Hold on. Now they got my curiosity. No. That one's not. She's nope. looking at the dishes now. Hi, Jack. Every single dish has been accounted for, and it, none of them are chipped. So what's happening in the peanut brittle process? So I'm waiting for it to get up to 260 degrees. It's at 252 right now. That's why this is a great little thermometer. Yes, Dave. Um, Evanly says, Dave, ask your mom what bull. I do not know what she's talking about. That's what we were just talking about, Dave. Oh, oh. Uh, um, and also, um, Teresa wants to know if it's plastic or glass. Well, that's what I can't tell. I think it's glass, but... As requested, I'm repasting in the... I'm going to repaste the peanut brittle recipe. Okay, I think it's glass. Now I'm afraid to touch it. See, it just snips off. I think it's glass. What should I do? An I don't know. A micro zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Laura says, Mike 27 again. <sighs> again? What are you saying? Actually, I'm a little bit past 27. I'm a couple of decades past there. <laughs> Sorry. He'll take any donations for his trip to Ireland. All donations are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Ellie booked their trip. They're going to Ireland in April. Ireland and Scotland and England. Okay, now we're at 264. So we're gonna go up to 290. I'm putting in my peanuts. Susan says her husband has been 21 for the last 40 years. Wow. You know what's funny is my parents were afraid of getting older and I, I've i hit certain milestones that seem to be highly stressful for them and it doesn't seem any different to me. Um. Charlie wants to know what size of battery on a thermometer. I have no idea. Can I see it? Uh, uh, here, let me. Let's see. Well, let me see if Dave can get it apart. Shelly, I don't know. Shelly says I love peanut butter fudge, but it never comes out for me. Are you using the two ingredients, Shelly? Because the problem with the two ingredient fudge is we found out people were it was turning out not hard and people were getting a bag of chocolate chips but a bag of chocolate chips is not the 12 ounce bags you need little tip if you guys do have this thermometer the way you get the battery off is you just pop this part off and there's the oh. battery well there you go what kind of battery is it it's a d it's a I mean, D. It's a, no, it's a nine volt. Oh, a nine volt. It's oh, a nine volt. Really yeah, nine volt D. Nine volt Dave. <laughs> oh, Paulette says no snow on Halifax, Nova Scotia yet. I'm surprised. We're getting what? Although what we've got is apparently going across the country, so you'll probably get it. What kind of birthday cake do you want? Chocolate. Should we invite With all the viewers over chocolate. for your party? Absolutely. But Come on over. The more the merrier. Year? Huh? You're 47 <laughs> this year. Uh, yep. Oh. Whoa. Did, uh, okay, let's see. Let me see what else we have here. Um, Cheryl says, have you ever had the toffee that poured over Ritz crackers and then chocolate spread over? No, I haven't. To me, it just ruins candy to put crackers in it. <laughs> Sorry. Except but, chocolate peanut butter cookie well, things. But except we did make the peanut butter cookie ones yesterday and these are really good and we made marshmallow bonbons and we made chocolate dipped oreo Oreos. cookies here's the marshmallow bonbons hold on yeah we actually turned on the live stream for a few minutes on facebook while we were shooting this just so people could see that we'll probably put that on yep. youtube but i mean it's not that exciting but it was us doing that so uh rita says dave is really doing well on his end of the production Yay. Yay. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Ramon would like to know if you can use any other type of nuts for the brittle. Ooh, how about almonds? You can use almond, macadamia, pecan, anything you want. Yes. And... Um, I was wrapping a present and I, I can't find any tape. 
And you can just um, leave the nuts out if you want and just have brittle. I don't know, Jack. <laughs> Sherry says, Go happy birthday, office. Mike. You look good for 27 for the fourth time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hi, Jack. He's too cute. I told everyone that you're going to be able to use a senior slot and... At search in three years. Oh! <laughs> Dave keeps trying to say I can use a senior spot, and I haven't used that since I got out of college. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who saw our live show yesterday where I put the money in the soap, that video is going to come out in a couple of days. There's the end product. Isn't that cool? A I'm bar of soap it. with money. I'm using it to see if it's a $1 bill, a $5 bill, or a 20 or maybe I think I should put all the kids' as Christmas money in that this year. You to should should. put all their presents in soap. See, and then we still have some poop emojis left if you need soap for Christmas. And I still have a couple of cotton candies and some black cherry. Classic poo. Michael put the link on there for my soap, but I'm doing free shipping still. And I've only got like three oceans left. Can to that? Can you use free ship, capital letter, 16. Can you use and lavender. shoes or almonds in place of like Yes. Any nuts you want, you can use in place. And then when are we starting the recipe? Well, we've already started the recipe. I'm waiting for it to cook here. We're getting close. Uh, okay, I didn't see it. Okay, we're at 281. I got 10 more degrees. Patricia says I'm a new viewer to your show and love it. Thank you, Patricia. Glad to have you. Thank you, Patricia. And Sarah says, Tara, you and I have the same taste. Peanut brittle and toffee are the best, and I love turtles too. Oh, aren't they just delicious? Tony says... Charlie says, I just ordered the thermo with your link. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys just bookmark that link and just every time you go to Amazon, if you click on that, we'll get, a, I don't know, we get like 3% or something. It's not huge, but hey, uh, it helps pay Mike's chocolate bill. <laughs> I don't actually eat that much, but I crave it a lot. Kathy says, how do I order the wax melts? Um, well, you can order them after I get them made. <laughs> Uh, okay, I was going to try and do the wax melts tomorrow, but then I forgot I had an interview with Sylvie. <laughs> Guys, I am losing my mind. I'm so sorry. We just have so incredibly much to do. And Mike was fighting with Home Depot yesterday to get carpet in the kids' rooms after two weeks for their seven-day guarantee. But they're... He prevailed. They're saying that they're bringing it tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. So they're saying it, but... I'm encouraged by their response, but I had to... Fingers throbbing. I had to tell them I was... It. You gotta kiss it, oh. not sniff it. I couldn't tell what you were saying. Mom, two things. I went in there and I told him I was irate and I needed to talk to the highest manager. Yeah, he went in like this. He went in like this. I'm like, the most irate customer you're going to see today. No, I'm not a manager right now. I was smiling like that, but I wasn't, I wasn't as frowny as I could have Oh, been. I burned it. Oh, come on. No. See, this isn't staged, guys. This is not planned. Tell me we have more supplies. Okay, you need to watch your peanut brittle so it doesn't burn. Okay, well, I'm just going to finish it. This is what it looks like when it burns. See that black stuff there? Do you not have any more stuff? I do, but do we really have time to do it all over again? It's only 5 o'clock. Okay, so put in your salt and your <sighs> baking soda. And be careful because it is super, super hot. All right, well, mine's going to have a smoky flavor, but you guys can see. <laughs> Don't be yakking when you're making this, okay? Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Jojo says, Mike, I can't see much phasing you. It takes a lot, but there's a certain point where I, I suddenly become ugly Mike. His wife yesterday was like, this bear phase you! I want carpet! Oh, actually, you didn't say that. I just oh, I said, did. I think I need to go over there right now. Yes, he did, and I was very thankful for that because I was not a happy camper. Okay, so then spread it. Well, maybe I didn't burn it too bad. It'll just have a little bit of a smoky taste. Okay, so... But if you stopped it before that, it would be... I cannot it. cook and talk. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> she burns my cheese for your rolls all the time. I do hand. not. Okay, Dave, set these outside on the porch for me, please. I you said this Don't wait, wait, touch wait. the bottom. Touch the sides only. Well, can I have a thingy? Open the door first. 
Uh, Amanda says, where are you guys? Amanda, we're in northern Colorado, up near Longmont, north of Denver, about 40 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, hold it by the edges. <laughs> Just hold it. There you go. Okay, go set it on my ledge. Okay. Turret says, I need to do, we need to do a trip to the north of Norway in the winter, then we can see the aurora. It's lovely. Oh, I've always wanted to see that. I always thought that would be cool to see the northern lights. She said they just had it last night. Oh, really? That must have been awesome. Well, see, God was saving me from wanting to eat all the peanut brittle myself. <laughs> see, that's just the way you need to look at it. Well, thank you everyone for the early birthday wishes. <laughs> okay, so then, and this is why you need two um, cookie sheets, because it's just one is just really not enough. Now, I'm setting this outside to cool for just, I mean, it's only going to take like five minutes because it's like zero degrees outside at the moment. Kimberly's asking, are all those cookies in your Dining on a Dime cookbook? Yes, they are. Okay, Dave, next one. Those ones uh, you made yesterday? Oh, yay. Just set it on top of my salt molds. Okay, so we'll let those cool and then I'll show you how they break up. Oh, Jill from Kansas has to go. <laughs> what? Where are you going? Goodbye, Mother. She's going to YouTube. She's commenting on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so Mom's going to be here in <laughs> 10 days or so. And we're gonna, she's going to be live every day that she's here for our shows. I mean, every day that we have shows. So I have to listen to my mother-in-law? Yes. <laughs> Denise says I've made microwave peanut butter brittle before. It's so much fun to watch it bubble up a little like watching marshmallow peeps being microwaved. That's funny. Um, Uh-oh. Sharon says the sugar cookie recipe didn't come through. Let me try that again. Um, I don't think it's going to taste bad with it burned, would it? Some people Probably not. were suggesting that you might also check the other dishes to see if any other plates had a piece that got stuck in the bowl in the dishwasher. Um, Denise wants to know if you've ever made divinity. <laughs> I was thinking about your answer to that question the other day. Uh, let's just say you don't want me to make divinity. So I spent, I lived in my grandma's, uh, they had a trailer house that our, my great uncle lived in for years. They made into his house. And so I moved in there after he was gone. For a little bit till I could find an apartment in Colorado when I first moved here and so I went on this cooking spree and I made divinity and all this other stuff I made like four or five batches of divinity I think I'm up to 16 batches now the story has evolved a little bit <laughs> and couldn't get it to work because weather really affects divinity and I think it was raining that day and humidity doesn't it just doesn't set up right and so I worked and worked and worked. Finally got it made and I tasted it. I'm like, well, I don't even like this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I totally destroyed my grandmother's kitchen trying to make this stuff. Wasted probably $20 worth of ingredients. <laughs> Just to find out I hate the stuff. <laughs> Aaron says, hi guys, are you going to make bark too? Yes. I thought about making it right now, but today kind of blew up on me so I might Friday I don't remember what I'm making Friday but I might just throw it in on Friday uh, oops I just had another question um, Mary did I, already, I didn't already say this today Mary was said I need a good peanut butter fudge recipe so a good peanut butter fudge recipe is go to our 25 candy recipes Mike you should have already put it in there a couple I of times. thought I had it uh, I didn't put it in there today that's 25. where the peanut butter recipe is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> so what, should I yeah. just put on there that the recipe is in there? Okay, so follow the recipe. Whoa, whose present is that? It's Ellie, mine. Ellie slash Buster's. <gasps> Come here and show, everybody, show everybody just what you did. I um, just pasted it in. So follow that fudge. Look what Jack just wrapped. Who's that for? Ellie and, Ellie and Buster. Oh, our, they're gonna love that. And Buster is our pet do dog. He's our dog. Those yes. Of you that don't know. He is. Um, if you use the fudge recipe in that, but use peanut butter chips instead of evaporated milk, you'll have the best and the easiest fudge ever. Really super delicious. Um, oops. Sorry, it was. Okay, go ahead. Alrighty. Sorry. 
Uh, did I already ask this question? Oh yeah, I did. Let's see, Divinity Nuts. Okay, we've already got those. Let's see, we've got some more here. Aaron, you two are hilarious. Thank you. Patricia, yeah, you're back. She said we. She lost us for a second. I see you have a cute Christmas apron, says Denise. I do, but I don't think I like it. I'm being mini Pearl until I decide if I want to keep it or not. I don't think I'm going to keep it. So how many of us are old enough to know who Minnie Pearl is? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you know who Minnie Pearl is. Surely we're not the only ones. My parents watched Hee Haw every single year. Oh, well, I just gave it away. <laughs> Sarah says, I made a yummy cashew brittle, and I cannot have anyone in the kitchen talking because I have to watch the temp so closely yes. so it doesn't burn. Do not. She said you, it happens so quickly that it burns. Yes. if you Once it goes over 290 degrees, it's burned. So once it hit, hits 290, you have to take it off, stir in your soda and salt, and get it in the pan immediately. Because once it gets over 290, it burns. Because I checked my temp and it was at 294 and it had burned. So just really, if you have little kids, make sure you do it at nap time. Don't be calling your mama in the middle of it. Yik yakking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, See, gosh. they know who Minnie Pearl is. Yes, all right. Thank you. Yeah, from Hee Haw, for those of you who are yes. too young. Go to Google and Google it. I wonder if it would even be on there. Uh, Karen says, I made a batch of hardtack candy and it didn't turn out. It sticks too much in my mouth. Can I remelt it down? I have no idea. Anybody else know if you can remelt down hard candy? I do know that what happened was you didn't cook it long enough. You needed to cook it just a tad longer, and that's what the problem was, but I'm not sure. Jessica says, would you like to stop an older daughter, please? Big Bear! Hey, Big Bear, we have missed you! And Roasted Corn has missed you! Oh, <laughs> we're so moved. Big Bear? All right. I keep popping in and watching you guys, and you don't know it, but I have been. Yeah, Teresa says, I know who she is or was. Price Everyone tag was lady. Yeah. Yes, Minnie Pearl stuff. always had outfits. Well, I checked the peanut butter real quick. Okay. Ooh, she's going out to our secret refrigerator location outside. Well, so, almost. if you guys haven't heard it, the and one year, I mean, we and the neighbor cat got in there. Yeah. And we ate the round steak anyway. We cut off the cat parts and I cooked it. Well, I was thinking, man, you cooked it, so. But we, we were desperate. I wasn't about to lose. We did cut off that the money. cat marks, yeah. But we were, well, we were cut off from all civilization at that point. Yeah. We had some floods in Idaho and we couldn't even get out to get more food if we wanted to, but. No, mom did not make this apron. I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I don't really like it. So I think I'm going to return it. All right, uh, let's see. Still looking for more questions and comments. Did you lose power the other night, Shelly? We lost it for uh, not long. Well, not long enough, I should say. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was, that so was hilarious. hilarious. Well, first of all, we had a little brownout at the end of the show, if you guys yeah. weren't here. So the lights kind of flickered like this, and then it went off. But we have everything on battery backup except the mic and the camera. Well, yeah, when it came right back on, and the mic was on, but we didn't know it, and the camera was off, so we're, we're wandering around saying, well, I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try that. Uh, do you think we should try to go back on with the show? Because we were wrapping it at that moment it happened. And pretty soon we see people saying, we can hear you. We just can't see you. But then, yeah, later on, uh, what, two hours later, the power went completely off. And it stayed off for 15, 15 or 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Not long. But it was like five minutes afterwards. and Not even. Yeah. And the boys are walking around and Jack's like, so cold. <laughs> Like, dude, it's 71 it's in here. five minutes. <laughs> but it's funny how, how quickly that turned. But we got all the, cam uh, all the candles out and everything, and it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, uh. Whoa, Rain Country Homestead says, I, sorry I'm never in here. We're so busy with crochet and sewing orders. Just got seven more hat orders that need Good to be done. Good job. Wow, you must be really busy. Good Melissa just job. got her soap today. I love your videos, by the way. I've been watching some of your videos. I never comment. I need to comment more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have over here on Facebook again. Oops. 
I must need to refresh it because it's uh -oh. not showing any. Okay. Nobody's commented in the last seven minutes. Just a couple minutes and I'll get my peanut brittle. It's almost cooled off. Mm. So, uh -huh. so we got the kids' room painted and the carpet is coming tomorrow. So maybe we can get their stuff back in there and get them organized. So. Wonder where Hetsy lives. So Hetsy says, I used our secret refrigerator last night too. Negative 26 over here. Comes in handy. Ah, mercy. Wow. Yeah. You know, guys, that's one tip for Christmas. Every single Christmas, we have so much food. We always overdo it at Christmas. Try not to, but we still do. And so we just don't have room in the refrigerator. And so what we do is, because we're in Colorado. Now, of course, if you're in California, don't email me. I totally get you're not going to be able to do this in California or Texas or Florida. I get that. But if you live in a northern cold climate, because you're smart. Oh, did Wait, I say that? I didn't hear what you said. I'm kidding. I'll hear it in about two minutes <laughs> on my screen. Now. Watch for all the thumbs downs. Um, I'm just kidding. I lived in Texas, so I can say that. Um, oh, what did you say about You said something bad about uh, Texas? <laughs> all right, woman. <laughs> Mine grew up in Austin. <clears throat> If you live in a place where it gets cold for Christmas, <laughs> put your food out in the garage, either in a cooler or we'll just set it on the workbenches. But it doesn't get colder than like 35 or hotter than like 35 in there. And so between under 40 is what you need the temp. So if it's under 40 degrees in your garage, then um, stick some of your food out there so you don't have to worry about having so much refrigerator space. Wow, okay, so uh, Patricia asked, did you say that you make soap for eczema? I do. I have an unscented soap that is for that. I Michael put the link to my, to my site on there. For soap, you said? For soap. I'm not sure if I'm sold out or not. I need to make another batch of that and another batch of spearmint eucalyptus, but I may have to wait a couple weeks, guys, or next week. I don't know. This whole basement thing has thrown me for a tizzy and we've had other things going on and quite frankly, I am just numb. So... But the weekend is coming. And what difference <laughs> does that make? Well, hopefully that means you we're be doing home now. Alright, so... Have you not heard? <clears throat> From dawn to setting sun, a woman's work it's never done. All right. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> wow, it's so crazy on this chat because everyone's saying stuff. It's like... Des says, my family usually calls me that too. She's talking about Minnie Pearl. <laughs> and Nadine says, watch Lawrence Welk and Hee Haw with my grandparents every weekend. You know, I used to work with PBS for PBS for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And there's a point where we started thinking, wow, you know, we're the network of the dead stars. <laughs> <laughs> Like every every famous show we had that was still number one, the people had been gone for a lot of years. But what was really odd is sometimes we'd get calls at our station from uh, people asking to talk to Mr. Welk. And it was like 20 years later, we were thinking, oh, I'm sorry, but it's going to be a long distance call. You know? Some people are saying they love being a friend, by the way. But oh, thank you. We liked Lawrence Welk, though. I hate to say that, but I did. <laughs> Okay, so here's my peanut brittle that's been outside. Oh, I have something to say. And this is why I like the Silpat, because it just comes right off. Look at that hunk of peanut brittle. Does that look? Oh, man, that's good. Maybe you should bring it in. Okay, oh. so what you do, that's it. Now, you will see my little burn spots there. I will probably just ignore them and <laughs> eat on because this is really good stuff. Damn, stop. Um, all right, so here's a test. I would have you taste test, but you want a taste test? Yeah. Wait, he, but he doesn't like peanuts, does he? Yeah, I, I love peanuts. Oh, you do? Oh, wait, no, it's Dave. What am I Dave. thinking? I can't remember which kid. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Okay. What, Dave? Lisa Von... Jammer, I 
Mm-hmm. Rather buy two refrigerators <laughs> than leave Texas. Actually, I liked Texas, but when we went back there, Tara was super sick, and the heat and the humidity was pretty much made her so sick she couldn't get off the couch for the whole six months we were back there. Mm. But, of course, then after living in Idaho and Colorado, it's I'm not sure I would be able to handle the heat anymore. <laughs> but, so people are so awesome there. This is really the best peanut brittle ever. It really is good. JoJo says, oh, I could eat that right now. Mm-hmm. I think I will. Oh, Hetsy says she lives in the province of Alberta. She says wow. it's supposed to get down to negative 36 in the next few hours. So that's cold. I hope you have a wood stove. Actually, when we were in Idaho, it was a little colder than Colorado. It stayed more consistently cold, didn't it? Mm -hmm. But man, the wood stove and dressing, we dressed so much better for it there. Here in Colorado, I'm so used to going out that I don't go outside without enough. Mm -hmm. Stuff on. Oh man. Okay, I didn't burn this too bad. This tastes really good. Des says the reason mm. why they call her that is because she gets so excited over the gifts she forgets they come with tags. <laughs> and Penny says a man may work from sun to sun, but a woman's work is never done. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever heard that whole thing before. Okay, I gotta put this over here. Oh man. Wow. I'll eat this you every mean, day. You mean there are men that only work from sun to sun? <laughs> hey, it's not hot on the bottom anymore. Crazy. Shannon says we used to live in Kyle, Texas, right outside of Austin. I grew up in Austin. Oh, you already said that, probably. Mm -hmm. um, Nadine says every Thanksgiving and Christmas I keep extra holiday food in my garage in Utah. My mom keeps her turkey in the trunk of her car in Idaho. <laughs> April, that's a really good idea. April said that she moves. They move all of their drinks out to the garage in the winter, so their fridge is. So that's a great idea, but be really careful. I used to live in Kansas, so I know how cold it can get in January and February. So, but that's a great idea, but for anybody else, be careful because it can get really stinking cold in Kansas and everything will freeze and explode. Jojo says we used to chill our beer in the snow upstate New York. That's funny because in Colorado, mm -hmm. we, uh, we go up to the national park and we'll chill our drinks in the stream. Mm-hmm. Because the water is straight off the glacier all summer long. Hallie loves our videos. Wait, what's your last name? Uh. Yes. Tell B I'm going to. I still have the package. Oh. I'm not. Hi, kidding. Linda my... from Australia. <laughs> Yay. My finger is still throbbing. I did that cut two and a half hours ago, and my finger is still throbbing. Oh, Hetsy says no wood stove, but we do have a fireplace. Tara, how hard is this peanut brittle? I'm always worried about breaking a tooth. Well, it's pretty hard. So if you have tooth problems, I probably wouldn't suggest it. It is a hard candy. But you could suck suck on it, I guess. Oh, yeah, Shelly so says good. you need to move here to Maine. Maine would probably See, be nice. I told you. Maine would probably I be nice. I want to go to Maine. <laughs> I think Maine would be cool. Hmm. Martha says the comments keep you from seeing the project. I'm not sure what that means. I wonder if she's on a mobile device that's covering that somehow. Mm. Jojo doesn't like Texas because she despises the bugs. Amen, sister. Thank you. Actually, I do remember the bugs were kind of rough when it didn't get cold enough in the winter. Mm. <laughs> Nadine, pass some of that peanut brittle through the screen, please. Oh, man. It is good stuff. I got <laughs> some at the store because I didn't want to eat a whole batch myself. <laughs> Penny it says was wanna, nasty. Penny says, no, Tara, you want to move to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to Michigan. We haven't been east of, we haven't ever lived east I of the Mississippi. Beer, though. We've lived all over west of the Mississippi, well, not all over, I guess. But. We've only lived in the Midwest and the West. We haven't been to the South or the <laughs> East yet. Patricia says, I just ordered the oatmeal and salt soaps. I'll let you know if it helps. Wow, it is, wow, we keep forgetting that the show, we get close to the end of an hour and we're still going. Let's see. Frog oh, legs. gross, Big Bear. Frog legs and gator. Any kind of animal tastes good. So Big Bear Homestead. Big Bear makes a lot of exotic food. He's saying frog legs and gator. He was talking about... Um, what was he talking about? Be beavers? Oh, yes. 
Raccoon? Oh, well, gross, that's what Big David, Bear. Uh, did he say that or just Dave? Was that, he, Big Bear said he was going to start making um, cooking Kangaroo. videos. Kangaroo. So I was wondering if he was going to start... Um, yeah, I was wondering if he was going to start doing it with like raccoons and stuff, or like what? We're looking through some more comments here at the end. Um, so the pie question... Okay, um... What, are you guys, are you guys dying? I'm trying to find the pie question. Hold on, Mike went past it and... Oh, sorry. Um, up from here. Okay, so somebody, I don't remember who it was, somebody asked me about the pie and if it's supposed to be on the wet side. It's not really supposed to be wet or dry. It's just supposed to be moist, but not really wet or dry. So I know that's a hard explanation, but it's supposed to really just be in the middle. If it's too dry, add like another tablespoon of water. If it's too wet, then add another tablespoon of flour. I'm not sure. Jamie is saying she can't wait for something and asking for the time. Do you know what that would be a reference to? I have no idea. Hmm. Peanut brittle is so good, but looks like baby puke. You're right. It's true. Big Bear's right. But it's so tasty. Mm. Do you want to reply to that or no? Um... Let's see. <laughs> Alligators chewy? Yes, Big Bear, I do know that, but I'm in Colorado, so I'm not too worried about them being armed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, Big Bear is asking what roasted corn's been up to. He's been kind of hiding out while Mike is overwhelmed with other things. <laughs> so. Okay, seriously. Um. Let's see. Esther, I have been looking for a Christmas apron for months and months, and I have not been able to find one. I did get it 50% off at Hobby Lobby, though, but... <laughs> All right, let's see if there... Do you want to see if there are any more comments here on Facebook? I was kind of surprised I couldn't find one, because usually you can find one for every holiday, but... Shirley's asking if we have a cookbook. Yes, we do. Yes, Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. It's on sale. If you buy dining, you get quick and easy menus <clears> for free. <throat> if you buy all three with Dig, you get free quick and easy menus and free shipping. These two books are going out of print. When they're gone, they're gone. We're not reprinting unless we do it on Amazon through their... We might do it through their special thing that they have, but we're not self-publishing them again. We, Tommy, oh, dining oh. on a Dime will still be in print, though. Tommy said, I love peanut brittle and we'll try this. I already made my mouth water by watching you eat it and bragging how good it is. It is really super good. And Donna says, the walnut butter cookies are so good. My husband thanks you. Yeah, that those are really a good cookie. They're mom's favorite. They're not my favorite, but they're mom's favorite. She says you look like a Christmas elf. <laughs> I should have had my hat. Here, go hand me my hat right there. Where? <laughs> right there on the chair. All right. Well, it um, looks like... I think that looks like the majority of the comments Yeah, here. that one's good. Here, I'll, I'll put my hat on to go with my hair. Okay, here we go. Let's see which way do the ears go. There, now how do I look? Oh, super cute. Love the ears. Is it me? Yeah. Okay, so tonight, Simply Circus is on at 9 p.m. Eastern. And Bye, Big Bear! Um, 9 p.m. Eastern is Simply Circus After Us on thehomesteadnetwork.com. And, wow, we will be back Friday at 4.30 Mountain. And tomorrow, if you want to hop on Facebook at Self-Reliant Living, that's Self-Reliant Living Excuse me, I'm going to be live. She's going to be interviewing me live tomorrow at 11 p.m. Mountain. So. All right. Well, I think that looks like... Oh, Christine's asking what size mason jars we use for the Christmas I gifts. use the quart for the cookies and muffins. Uh, did you already answer Ramona? Ramona's saying I had to order three cookbooks separately because it wouldn't let me put them on the same order. Um, 
That doesn't make sense. Why don't you email us and I can look at it? Because if you're out of if you were out of the U.S., I only set it up for one, just because the shipping is so expensive. Yeah. But then the idea there was that somebody would contact Tara and ask her for a quote on more. Yeah. So email me. But it says you're in Oklahoma, so I'm not sure what the issue is. That's really weird. So. And I'll look and see what it is. If oh. if that's the case, I will give you a refund on the shipping. So don't worry about it. I'll do that. So Penny says, have a wonderful evening. You too. Oh, Ramona right. says 11 p.m. Is that? No, 11 a.m. I'm sorry. 11 a.m. Mountain tomorrow. I'm going to be on Self-Reliant Living. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Any... Jack wanted to tell us something real quick. So, I, um, I have a Christmas present for you. You do? Yeah. Whisper in my ear and tell me what it is. One, I won't tell myself. One's under the tree, and one has not arrived. Has not been. Has, isn't here yet. Uh oh. Well, do you whisper in my ear and tell me what it is. I won't tell myself. No. Okay, right here. You whisper in this one. No. <laughs> Thank you. You bought me a Christmas present. The the one that's under the tree I bought, but the one that um. The one that's n that that hasn't been that isn't here yet mm -hmm. is probably is going to be on Christmas Day. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, just adds three. It's gonna be three emails. Oh my! Oh so, yeah, they're doing through my email. It's not giving mom all the kisses she wants, Day. No. I think it should be. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's gonna be through your. Email. All right, guys, check out Simply Circus. We will see you guys on Friday. Thanks for being here. Or tomorrow at 11 a.m. for Self Reliant Living. We appreciate you being here as always. Have a you. great day, Ramona. Send it through my contact form. On our website. On our website. Go to our website, livingonadime.com. At the top, click contact, and it says order inquiries. Type it in there and see if that'll go through. And you should get an email back saying, we received your message, and Tara will get back to you shortly. Mm-hmm. Bye, so, guys. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, let me shut down. Keep talking. Okay, bye. Kimberly, they'll still be on sale. Yay. Penny says, so happy to be able to catch you. Glad. Bye, Penny. Good to have you, Penny.